I mentioned before at the beginning of the talk, I'm sure there's a lot of people with frustrated experiences with working on touch touchpads. Well, much in the same way as we made a massive improvement to touch in Windows 8, so we're improving the touchpad experience on Windows in Windows Blue. And we've been working with a set of partners. So I've got a machine up here that I'm about to show you um, that we worked with Intel on. And this, um, we, we also had some other co-engineering partners, Synaptics and Alan. And they've actually um, taken a precision touchpad device and retrofit it into this device here. So a precision touchpad is our new initiative to improve touchpads. And, the, and the, the things that we wanted to really address were, first of all, consistency and reliability. So many times when you re reinstall the system, you can't find your touchpad drivers. Like, where are they? I can't find the right version. Very frustrating. And the second thing is consistency. If you were to go into, some, for example, a Best Buy and, and kind of go try a bunch of different touchpads, you'd probably come away with very different experiences, very different materials. You know, some of them are rough, some of them smooth, some of them respond well, others don't. Very inconsistent. So we wanted to fix that. We also wanted to bring the fluid interactions that we have for touch and the integration with direct manipulation to the touchpad so that you can actually do sort of two-finger scrolling and get some really highly, highly performed manipulations. And we also, another big area is, you know, how many of you have had this problem? You're typing away and you kind of accidentally put your thumb down, your palm down, and you're getting these clicks. And those clicks are annoying because they change the focus and suddenly your text isn't going into the right window. Really frustrating. I, I know my, my father, whenever he gets a new laptop, how do I disable this trackpad? And it's, it's me that has to help him. We want to make that thing of the past. So we've invested in accidental activation prevention to help really filter out these kind of non-deliberate touches uh, on the touchpad and, and make it much better experience. So with that, let's switch over and we'll go back to our stunt camera again and show you this Harris Beach system. And again, this, this is a, a co-engineering effort with Intel. And it's actually a development system that I'm showing here. So this, this is not a shipping device. These devices will be coming to market in some limited availability this holiday and then shipping in volume over the course of the next year. So what we'll do uh, to show off touch is I'm going to come to Wikipedia. This is a pretty big Wikipedia page. And you'll see the regular kind of touch padding experience that you'd expect in Windows and touch zooming experience. If I come down onto the trackpad, I get exactly that same experience. And the reason for that is we've done the work to hook up to direct manipulation. So it's incredibly responsive. And you know, I definitely, for those interested, come up and, and actually try it. And you'll feel an amazingly responsive behavior. If I do two fingers, and hopefully you can see this on the camera, you'll see, again, zooming is exactly the same way. Very, you know, very fluid, very stick to the finger there. We've also done a couple of other things. We've done um, gesture support. So if I swipe in from the edges of the trackpad, I initialize or initiate the edgy behavior from the right. And from the left, I get the application switcher. So we haven't just kind of had this really you know, beautifully smooth and high performant experience from a panning and zooming perspective, but also done gestures. And finally, um, accidental activation. So what I'm going to do here is I bring out WordPad. I'm going to type with one hand. And as I type, I'm just going to kind of deliberately tap the touchpad. I don't know if you can see me doing this. It's hard, hard with that camera angle. There you go. And so what you'll see is all of those taps that I'm making on the touchpad as I type are being filtered out. We, we do kind of contact geometry analysis and, and some very intelligent algorithms in Windows itself to really kind of make this a great experience. Now, what does this mean to a developer? Well, great news. If we come back to this. Uh, same SDK sample I just showed you. I'm going to again switch over to show you the output directly. I'm going to run the, the, exactly the same code you saw. And what you'll see now is that to get the panning and zooming experience that to work with the precision touchpad, it's, it's basically one line of code. And, and it's essentially just handling a new message called DM pointer hit test. And this message is sent to the application when I do this sort of two finger down. Um, initiation of, of the scroll, or of the pan, I should say. So if I put two fingers down and start to pan, you'll see that this message gets fired. It's so my exact same hit testing logic. I determine where did that go? Um, was that in the inner view, inner view port, the outer view port? And away we go. We get all of our built-in kind of ballistics, our nice bounce effect. We get all of our parenting and chaining. It's all exactly the same. Now, it, it, this is basically free in modern apps. So if we come into the news app um, for both HTML and XAML, 
um, precision touchpad integration is essentially plumbed into the system. So I get this beautifully responsive behavior. It's plumbed into the browser and available for users. So that's precision touchpad. Who, who liked it? Anyone? Who, who wants a precision touchpad here? <laughs> Me, I want one. Very awesome. 